Midterm review. Here we go. There are two types of quantities, scalars and vectors. Scalars have magnitude or amount only, and vectors have magnitude and direction. Distance is a scalar. It is the length of the path traveled. Displacement is a vector. It is the length of a straight line from the initial position to the final position. Speed is a scalar. It tells you how fast an object is moving. Velocity is a vector. It tells you how fast and in which direction an object is moving. The equation for both is V bar equals D over T. Acceleration is a vector. It is the rate of change of velocity. The equation for acceleration is A equals delta V over T. We look at graphs of two types of motion, constant velocity and constant non-zero acceleration. Here are what the graphs look like. The slope of a D versus T graph is equal to velocity. The slope of a V versus T graph is acceleration. The area under a V versus T graph is equal to displacement. There are three uniform accelerated motion equations. VF equals VI plus AT, which does not have displacement. D equals VIT plus 1F AT squared, which does not have VF. And VF squared equals VI squared plus 2AD, which does not have time. There are two types of projectiles problems. The first is horizontal projectiles. In the table, AX is always 0, AY is always 9.81 meters per second squared, and VIY is always 0. Plug in the other givens and use UAM equations to solve. The other type of projectiles are projectiles at an angle. First, we find the components of the initial velocity. VIY equals VI sine theta, and VIX equals VI cosine theta. In the table, AX is always 0, AY is always negative 9.81 meters per second squared, and VFY is 0. The components of the initial velocity are included too. Use UAM equations to solve. Remember that the total time is the time to the top multiplied by 2, and the total range is the dx to the top multiplied by 2. Newton's laws. Newton's first law is inertia. An object at rest stays at rest, and an object in motion stays in motion unless acted upon by an unbalanced force. Inertia depends on mass only. Newton's second law is F net equals MA. This can also be described as A equals F net over M. Newton's third law is action-reaction. Remember that objects interacting with each other feel equal forces. In a free-body diagram, there can be four forces. Gravity, normal force, applied force, and friction force. The equation for force due to gravity, or weight, is Fg equals Mg. On your reference table, it is written G equals Fg over M. On Earth, G is 9.81 meters per second squared. The normal force is equal to the weight. The equation for the friction force is FF equals mu Fn. Mu is the coefficient of friction. Mu has no units. The equation for the universal gravitational force is Fg equals G, M1, M2, all over R squared. G is 6.67 times 10 to the negative 11 newtons meter squared per kilogram squared. Do not forget these units. Also remember the what-if strategy. Plug in multipliers instead of actual numbers. Circular motion. Remember that centripetal means center seeking. This means that the centripetal acceleration and the centripetal force point toward the center. The velocity vector is a tangent to the circle and points in the direction the object is heading. The equation for centripetal acceleration is AC equals V squared over R, and the equation for centripetal force is FC equals MAC. These equations can be combined to make the equation FC equals MV squared over R. The velocity of any object is distance divided by time. For an object moving in a circle, this is the same thing as circumference divided by time. Circumference is 2 pi R. Therefore, the equation of the velocity of something moving in a circle is 2 pi R divided by time. There are two ways to add or combine vectors, the tip-to-tail method and the parallelogram method, as displayed here. The equilibrant is the vector you could add to create equilibrium. The equilibrant has the same magnitude and opposite direction as the resultant. Work and energy. The equation for kinetic energy is Ke equals 1 half mv squared. The equation for potential energy is Pe equals mgh. The equation for work is force times displacement. Remember that these have to be in the same direction. The work done is also equal to the change in total energy of the object. All of these are measured in joules. Power is the rate at which work is done or energy is used. The equation for power is P equals W over T. This can also be written as Fd over T or F times average velocity. The law of conservation of energy states that the total energy of a system remains constant. Mathematically, we can say that the sum of the potential and the kinetic energy at some point in time is equal to the sum of the potential and the kinetic energy at some later point in time. And finally, springs. The equation for the force on a spring is Fs equals Kx, and the equation for the potential energy in a spring is Pes equals 1 half Kx squared. Remember that K, the spring constant, is in units of newtons per meter, and that X is not the length of the spring, but the change in length of the spring.